Well, when I first started Vivid Tone back in 2003, my goal was to put together a studio that had some of the same high-end gear that you'd find in bigger Hollywood-type studios, but I wanted to create a studio that was more accessible to people who didn't have big, you know, high-end Hollywood-type budgets. And I researched pretty much everything out there. What kind of software were the bigger studios using, what kind of mic preamps, microphones, all that stuff. And I started putting together a list of gear that I needed for this studio that I really wanted to, to have the top gear, you know. And I ended up with the Pro Tools HD3 Excel system, high-end microphones, great mic pre's, Apogee converters. And over the years, I just keep adding, you know, and trying to, to really stay current with what the top end equipment is. And when it came time to build this new facility here, I want to make sure everything was acoustically designed and professionally built. I have, I believe, really high standards and I, and I don't want to cut any corners. I want things done right. And just like when you're recording an album or you're doing a project, you want it done right. You don't want somebody who's cutting a bunch of corners and just, you know. So when it came time to, to really build Vivid Tone in my vision for what Vivid Tone would be would be just a place that was all out, that got the job done, got the good gear, got the great sounding rooms, and there'd be no no compromise. It would just be all top line stuff, and no matter who comes in here, we, we can get the job done for them. Well, when it comes time to producing an album, it is important to be in the right studio, you know, and have the right gear and all that stuff, but when it's all said and done, the fans could really care less. They don't care. They don't care where you recorded your album. They don't care uh, who produced it or who engineered it. They don't care what kind of software you're using, what kind of microphones you're using. None of that matters to them. The only thing that matters is, does it connect? Does your music connect with them? Does it resonate in them? Do they want to listen to it again? I mean, that's the main thing. When you put in that album for the first time, you know. Uh, you know, pretty soon whether it's not going to make that connection, whether it's going to be something you're going to listen to over and over again, or if it's just something you're going to hear once and just kind of forget about. And so my goal really for every album I'm producing or every artist I'm working with is to really try to get inside their head, to really try to make that connection with the artist. Because I believe if I can connect with the artist, then hopefully it'll help them connect with their fans. And that's, that's all that matters, man. You can have all the money in the world and you can spend, a, you know, a, a decade recording an album and spend millions of dollars and you can do all sorts of stuff. But if, at the end of the day, if, if your music doesn't connect with the fans, then it, it's all pointless. And so that's really, that's always the goal. That's always the goal is to connect with the artist, really see what it is they're trying to accomplish. And hopefully that will really translate into an album or a project that the fans are going to gravitate towards and that it's going to really make a real connection with the fans. Well, since Vivid Tone opened, I've uh, been fortunate enough to work with all sorts of artists, all sorts of genres at all sorts of levels of their music career. You know, we've had artists come in the studio who have never been in a recording studio before all the way up to artists, you know, Grammy nominated artists that have sold millions of albums. And any artist that comes through the door is always treated with the same respect, with the same realization, understanding that your music is important to you. And I think that's why over the years we've gained such a you know, kind of like the studio itself has almost gained a fan base. You know, people like coming here and people know that they're going to be taken care of. And they know that any project I work on, I take personally because, you know, my name's on it and, and it's a part of the studio and, and I want to make sure that the artist walks away with something that they can be proud of and they, they can be happy with. And whatever it takes to get the job done, you know, um, whether I'm working with an artist who's just starting out or I'm working with an artist on a major record label, it's all, to me, it's all just as important. You know, every, every project I take seriously and every project I want it to be the best that it can possibly be. So I think that's what's definitely contributed 
to the success of Vivid Tone and why we keep growing. Um, once you come here and record, you understand that you know your music is really important to me, and it's really important to what we're trying to do here. You know, because that's the only way you you succeed in this industry. You have to really love what you do, and I'm fortunate enough that I get to go to work every day, and I really love what I do. And you know, I believe you should do what you love. You know, life's too short to uh, be miserable. So every day I come in and. I'm excited about what we can do and what can we can accomplish in the studio. And I think that's why I've, you know, got so many cool bands that I work with and, and why I've been working with some bands for, for a few years now. And uh, hopefully as time goes on, we'll just keep building that up and, and just have this network of bands that we, we work with and things that we do. And it's just, I love what I do and I think that's why that's why it just keeps going.